Welcome everyone into this EOSIO Swiss workshop number 15, Building a Collaborative Culture Audios. And I have the pleasure to be with my fellow Dance Enjoy, that is also my co-host during this workshop number 15. Don't miss the video about Duane Philippi Alien World Fractal. And don't miss the video also with a, with a fantastic architect developer, Tadas Veiti Kunas, where we spoke about Albedo, the blockchain overlay protocol, all that without even read the white paper and all that with my co-host, Dan Sinjoy. So welcome, Dan, again here with me. Thank you very much, Patrick. Thank you for having me as a guest. Thank you also for having me a co-host. I greatly enjoyed it co-hosting the interview of Dwayne and Tadas, interviews, I should say. And yeah, I, I've really been appreciating. I'm also looking forward to seeing the rest of the EOS Swiss workshops. And, and I love the theme for this workshop. So yeah, I'm happy to be here. And thanks for having me. Yeah, I too. And we have a rich menu as always. And today it's your interview. You are my guest here it's to do an update about Eden Fractal. I want to do a uh, Shout out to Felix Ruiz. We were on to a first video with Felix Ruiz and yourself to describe what was and what is uh, Eden Fractal that was at the very beginning of Eden Fractal. And today, a couple, a couple of weeks after, we are in a great mood and that's the time to do uh, an update for Eden Fractal. How is it going? Yeah, thanks for asking, Patrick. So it's going great. It's going uh, fascinating, super exciting. So many things to say about it. So the last time that we spoke about it on the Nova Crypto channel was the first interview that we did with you and Felix and I. And that was, I believe, the week before we had the first actual Eden Fractal event. So a lot's changed since then. We have we just did our 11th Eden Fractal meeting. We've been meeting every week since then. There's been so much that's happened. It's been fascinating and super inspiring game. Know everybody. Um, there's been people participating, usually between 15, 20 people every week. And people are bringing some really exciting and helpful initiatives to it. Like it's great getting to know everybody and then having the experience of actually doing it. Big learning experience. And yeah, I'm happy to go more, more into all these different aspects of it. But um yeah, it's been fun overall, and I'm very excited for the future of Eden Fractal, and we have a lot of things that we're working on that I'm very excited to uh, share with everybody as well. Absolutely, then. And I think for the audience, if you are just jumping now into this workshop and you see this video, maybe you should see also the first video. But since there, uh, things are going uh, at a pace uh at a good pace i would say uh and we have also a lot of participation i would say uh this could be always more but it is already something into our uh, community eos we want to be the collaborative culture and with hidden fractal that's exactly that so that's let's come me to the question how hidden fractal helps the other uh, circles that we have around EOS. We have Eden on EOS. We have EOS, the, the community EOS. We have the Fractali community with Daniel Larimer on the Saturday at 15.30 UTC every Saturday. And we have clearly the Eden Fractal on every Wednesday at 13 UTC, like a warm up to go in good shape on the Saturday fractal meeting. So can you demystify for someone watching this, what is Eden Fractal and how it helps the communities? Yeah, absolutely. I'm happy to. Um, so there's a few different directions to go on here and some different things I want to touch upon. Um, so one, I've been thinking about this quite a lot lately because I've been writing about it a lot. Um, so. First off, people can visit EdenFractal.com and see like a very high level overview of Eden Fractal and what is Eden Fractal. Basically, Eden Fractal is a community of people using the Fractally process, the practice of Fractally, which is a revolutionary new process for the next generation of DAOs and helps communities cooperate far better than ever before, like exponentially better. It, it's a really amazing process that's both fun and super 
productive for inspiring helpful work, incentivizing helpful work, and rewarding people to collaborate. Um, so basically, we're using that process to help out the EOS community and the Eden community. So people can join these events. We have them every Wednesday at 13 UTC. And then we go into breakout rooms. As we've explained in the last interview, I totally agree with what Patrick was saying. Check out the previous interview where we go into more detail about that. But yeah, basically, for the high level overview, we go into these breakout rooms. We use the faculty process where people can rank each other's contributions every week between one and six, and people receive a different allocation of respect from the community from then. And we keep doing it over and over again every week. And over time, relationships form, people build things, people contribute to the community. The community has a way to respect each other and remember that respect and so forth. So it's really a helpful community. And I would also focus on that too. It, it, it is a community. We're using unique tools that some of our great developers in the Eden Fractal have been helping to build. So like Vlad and James have built awesome tools that makes it way easier to do this and do it all on blockchain in a trustless way and automatic way and so forth. Uh, but also it, it's just an amazing community in addition who's using these tools and people bring all sorts of value in all sorts of different ways. So it's really cool. And then uh, how it helps. So I've been working on this quite a lot over for the past like two weeks or so because I was trying to get a Pomelo grant approved for Eden Creators. And Eden Creators is kind of like a um, creative media outlet that is both aiming to help grow fractals like Eden Fractal and also Genesis Fractal and Alien Worlds Fractal and so forth. And then also just provide content, then like, like host fun events, make exciting video content, write these things down to help explain and so forth. And so one of the things I was trying to do when I was, uh, when I was applying for this Pomelo grant to be approved on Pomelo is show how Eden, one, one Eden Creators, but specifically Eden Fractal, because it's a big thing that I'm focusing on with Eden Creators, how Eden Fractal is providing public goods to the EOS community, how Eden Fractal is helping EOS, how Eden Fractal is helping the world. And there's a lot to go in there. Uh, one thing that came to mind is I, I do have this on the website. It's at EdenCreators.com slash Eden hyphen Fractal. Uh, and then from there, there's also another page. It's like how Eden Fractal is providing public goods to the EOS community. So I don't know if I should show you any of that website, but I, I'm happy to go into the details of it. And I'd recommend people check it out. But basically, I'm working on like blog posts, basically. And it's a good way done, but it's still going to take more work to refine it and make it better over the coming days and weeks. But basically, there's lots of ways that Eden Fractal is providing helpful services to the EOS community and the world as a whole. And just to list off a few of them, one, we're hosting fun events where people can come and get to know each other and have like these great networking opportunities and just have fun enjoying each other and get to know people that they never knew. A lot of the best builders in the EOS community are working at Eden Fractal. Two is we're also making a lot of great video content. EdenFractal.com slash videos has a bunch of videos that I've been making, Felix has been making, James and you and Ami have made a few too. So people can watch all these videos and all the video content to learn more about people's stories with EOS and Eden Fractal. And then three, we're making great open source tooling, as well as I mentioned, like Vlad and James and several other developers, you've been helping out with the mind map. And Matthias has been helping out with lots of things too, as well as Lenar and a bunch of great developers. Four, we're also inspiring communities because we're like the first fractal community on EOS. Eden Fractal is one of the largest fractal communities in the world, just behind Genesis Fractal. And so we're helping to inspire all these different communities that can help empower their communities with fractal governance, like Alien Worlds Fractal is going to be a Zeos Fractal and lots of cool stuff. So that's kind of like a high level overview. I know it's kind of a long rant. Sorry if I talked for too long, but I hope that made sense and I'm happy to answer any other questions. Thank you, Dan. Uh, I encourage everyone to go into the video description. You will find different links, but if I can resume about those links, you will find the Eden Creator website, the Eden Fractal website that is referenced by the Eden Creator website. You will find also the voting tool by Vlad, that is a genius developer into Eden Fractal and also in Fractali, but he contributes for Eden Fractal. We have James Smart, that is also a genius developer on Fractali that has decided to help also the Eden Fractal. We have uh, myself, MindWeb.io, mind mapping. I have done a uh, mind map for Eden Fractal as I do for other communities like uh, Alien World Fractal also. 
and uh, hidden on EOS also, but I decided to contribute uh, with what I can do at the best. It's to you need the information. Then you will have also uh, other links into the video description where you will be able to uh, reach out to, to Dance Enjoy and also to Eden Fractal Events, the RSVP, how to attend there. There is a bunch of links and all that into the video description. So like this, it's stated. What is the respect in the context of Eden Fractal? Without to speak about Fractally, without to speak about uh, other fractals, but just for Eden Fractal, what is the level of respect for you? Uh, the, the Dan touch about the respect into Eden Fractal. Yeah, so um, I'll focus on Eden Fractal, though, of course, it also does apply for other fractals like Genesis Fractal and so forth. And I think there's two ways to answer this. So one way is, like respect has always existed be between people as long as you know we've been people or homo sapiens or whatever for thousands of years or however long like people respect each other naturally and i greatly respect the work that you're doing patrick i greatly respect the work of many other people in the community who are doing great work it's just something like respect's kind of another word for appreciation in a way or valuing uh it, it, it it's something that you appreciate or you value or you respect what somebody does for the community or does for the world or, or does and, and just cool thing that they do and throughout history like that really hasn't been measured or quantifiable it's always been kind of ephemeral it's always been something that people could feel and people could say but people could forget about it and, and it wasn't quantifiable with this fractally process and Eden fractal process we have a quantifiable version of respect that it doesn't exactly um equate to the amount of respect that you feel for somebody like personally but it gets closer to it and it, it, it empowers the community with the subjective process of coming together each week and seeing pe what people are doing, talking with your peers and using this process whereby people rank each other's contributions between one and six every week and keep doing that. Over time, well, each meeting, people are in a different amount of respect for how highly their contributions rank by the judgment of their peers each week. And so people get respect tokens. We actually have, thank, thank you very much to James Mart and, and also to Vlad for this. Um, we have a token on EOS, it's called Eden and it is the Eden Respect token. So basically every time that somebody participates in an Eden Fractal meeting, if they, and then if they reach consensus with their group, then they get distributed, or there's a weekly, distri there's a weekly distribution, and people who participate in reach consensus will get the Eden token, the Eden Respect token, which is essentially how much the Eden Fractal community, people who participate in the Eden Fractal community, respects the contributions of people coming to the meetings and then sharing what they're doing to help Eden Fractal and help EOS and help Eden and so forth. So it's not like a perfect measurement because we're always refining over time and you have to do this in many weeks to really find a more accurate assessment. But that's basically what it is. Like respect, it, it's a natural thing and, and it's kind of ephemeral, but we all feel it for each other and we all value what each other do. And then this fractally process with Eden Fractal, it enables us to use a process, a simple process, like a, a, a fun process that's also kind of a game and it's like a credibly neutral process. We come to these events and we rank each other's contributions. And then depending on how people contributions get ranked, then they get on chain respect, which can then be a token. And then it can do all the different things that tokens can do on the EOS blockchain, which is basically infinite because it's turn complete and you can do all sorts of fun stuff with it. So that's that that's respect for Eden Fractal basically. Yeah, I am myself also participating for sure. Uh, I have also my uh, own opinion on that. Uh, I, I am aligned with the, descrip the description that you that you just uh, made into the history of the of uh, our world uh, or worlds that has always been uh, fractal, and maybe we have uh, forget that uh, that in essence, in nat in nature, we are like a tree uh, or trees. And we are all uh, fractal. Uh, you have uh, made some good uh, um, imagery 
on your website uh, with uh, uh, with a tree inside a fractal. You have a trail different uh, uh, experience about the, the the graphics, and uh, I encourage everyone to to see this creation on in hidden creator hidden fractal website. Very well done, uh, well structured. Also, I love that. And uh, you improve your work. Uh, that's that's the beauty uh, of a creator. You are a, a fantastic creator. Um, just I want to understand how goes the process currently. Uh, you say you have a different tool to measure this, this respect when someone come onto the onto the hidden fractal uh, event. Uh, we are uh, into breakout rooms, sortition. Uh, randomized into breakout room and then what happens what happens into a breakout room what is the process when we are into a breakout room let's say someone coming to this hidden fractal is with you in an hidden uh, into a breakout room with dancing joy yeah I, I encourage you to come that will be a great experience what, what this newcomer will 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 have as a, an experience when we when he will be into a breakout room what is the process? I'll first say that I also encourage everybody to join. It's a really fun experience and uh, it's it's fun and it's also like deeply rewarding in many, many ways. Um, but yeah, basically when people join the Eden Fractal first off, uh, we usually start at uh, 45 minutes early and we just hang on the Zoom room and, and talk or, you know, people can ask questions and so forth. But then when we break out into the breakout rooms, then basically uh, it's a random it's a random breakout room. So if there's, you know, 20 people who are there, then you'll get put into a group with five or six people who are in that group randomly. And then during that group, you'll have approximately 40 minutes to reach consensus on the relative value of each member's contributions to the community. So usually for the first 20 minutes or so, people give uh, like presentations or basically just share with the community what they've been doing to help the community uh, for like maybe four minutes each or so, three to five minutes, I, I suppose. And so people share, oh, I did this to help the community. Oh, I I joined Patrick's podcast and I, I helped promote Eden Fractal and so forth. I'll talk about that there. And, and, and as always, Patrick will too. Or if somebody wrote some cool code or somebody invited their friend or whatever, then they will share that with the community and then the community will listen to everybody's contributions. It's great because it kind of gives everybody a stage to share their work and then a place to talk about it. So, you know, sometimes people might ask questions like how many hours do you spend on that or how exactly does this work or whatever. Uh, it, 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 it's pretty laid back. It's kind of like just, you know, people hanging out, but also hanging out for a specific focus to help the community. And then after everybody shares their contributions and answer any questions or whatever, then basically we just do a simple voting process where everybody uh, currently we're using the Zoom chat, but this will also change because Fractal team is creating like a cool user interface that 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 that's open source, and I think that there's a good chance that we'll adopt that'll make it even more fun and more interactive, and more intuitive. But currently we just vote in the Zoom chat, and we vote like uh, whoever we think did the most contributions for the week. So if Patrick comes and he says, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did all these great things, then I or other people might say, okay, Patrick should be ranked number six, level number six. And then after we come to consensus about six, then we'll do that same thing for whoever did the second most contributions for level five and level four and so forth. Uh, yeah, and that's basically it. Then we also have a great tool that Patrick mentioned before that uh, uh, Vlad built, who's an awesome developer, he made this tool where basically we can enter the consensus after the meeting is done and directly under the EOS blockchain. So it gets all the benefits of transparency and, and trustlessness and so forth of the EOS blockchain. Uh, so that's that. People come to consensus. They do this every week. They share their contributions. People rank the level of contributions and then people get the tokens and then also around that whole thing it's just a fun way to just hang out like we usually hang out for another hour or two afterwards we have fascinating conversations both learning about each other and then learning about like what is the next step for the eating factor how can we create more value as a community and what can we each do so that's basically the process i will add to that also it's not only the only incentivizing to come onto those uh, events and receive uh, some uh, hidden respect, EOS 
and NFTs. That's the, I would say, that's the gesture of Eden Fractal to, to, to give some, uh, let's say, uh, cookies, uh, gifts, uh, rewards. That's something uh, that we that we have to to do for the as a respect also as a respect also uh, for the people coming into those uh, into those uh, meetings. But I will say there is a pretext. We are voting into those breakout room. That's the that's the process. That's all on chain. But around that around that there is the fun part. You are you are meeting some people that you were maybe never imagined to to meet because you are in your own skill set. Let's say you are a developer, you are very on your uh, keyboard into your uh, code, and maybe uh, suddenly you feel you coming maybe a creator about maybe something else, uh, uh, doing fantastic graphics, and you are meeting people there that are artists also. They are doing music, or maybe they are uh, doing uh, painting, and that 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 will be maybe not obvious for you at at the first point, and then you see oh okay uh, that gives me idea to to build something else better than myself. So you do the one plus one equal three. You are meeting the beautiful people and beautiful minds. Uh, with just a lot of information, a lot of data uh, turned into knowledge. And uh, yeah, that's, I speak also with my experience going into this fractal since a while. Uh, and when I miss one, I am always like disappointed as I was not uh, uh, able to join because I, I am feeling, oh, I, I am not showing my respect there. But that doesn't matter because you can come in a couple of weeks again and you have something else to share. So when you are sharing what you have done into this breakout room, then you are not just sharing about uh, Eden Fractal itself. You are maybe uh, sharing uh, all what you do into the EOS ecosystem or into other, uh, uh, let's say, other circles around EOS. So it's not focus only on Eden Fractal. So what are you sharing? What, what, what can you share there if you want to have some uh, respect? Yeah, so uh, first off, people can share what they like to. Uh, even people who are completely near the community don't even know what EOS is or Eden or Eden Fractal or any of these people That's can the join beauty. the community. Yeah, and as long as you know people are bringing like a positive atmosphere, or are bringing fun to the community, are bringing something that people are enjoying, then that's cool. And people can just say that just participating at the meetings and sharing a good time is a contribution in itself because we're aiming to you know just grow the community and also grow it with a welcoming atmosphere with people who have different skill sets who are maybe just learning about EOS and Eden. But it's a great opportunity to do so while also getting to meet people. I completely agree with what you're saying. You put it really well about how there's amazing people here like uh, already in, in just 11 weeks i've met many people who i didn't know and like learned to deeply understand like their work and who they are and it's led to so many other collaborations so i can go on about that but yeah i completely agree about that but to answer your question though about the contributions yeah so people can share whatever they're doing to help the community uh and people are encouraged to share whatever they're doing to help the community and that's both for eden fractal and it's also for eos as a whole and also eden as a whole too so eos as we know it's a, a it's, it's it's an amazing blockchain and community that's formed around the blockchain that's been operating for about five years and there's so many people building on eos building helpful applications or doing great do, uh, creating great videos or art or writing or all sorts of different ways that people are contributing to EOS. And then Eden, well, Eden kind of formed about a year and a half ago after Dan Larimer wrote More Equal Animals. And Eden is also built on EOS and aiming to help EOS very much. Eden is also a community formed around a EOS-based technology. And Eden is also particularly interested, I think, in spreading the principles of true democracy that were expressed in More Equal Animals and innovating with new systems of practical cooperation. And then Eden Fractal formed uh, about two and a half months ago, three, three months ago or so now, uh, with a 
kind of a combination of all these different things in a way like we're aiming to help eos we're aiming to help eden we're aiming to help this amazing blockchain community help spread the principles of true democracy and more like animals and fractal cooperation and also specifically for the people who are joining the meetings like we all want to help each other we want to help each other be more independent and empowered and enjoy each other's time more and so forth so yeah basically when people share their contributions they could share contributions for eos ecosystem as a whole eden eden fractal or just come and just share what they're learning about the community and share what they're interested about and so forth. It's pretty laid back, but we encourage people to help out EOS and help out Eden and help out Eden Fractal as much as possible. And when people help out these communities more, then generally the community will uh, respect those contributions more and then people will earn more respect. I want to challenge you a little bit when you are in a room. Uh, do you see uh, like a competition between the different contributors into the room because you have a, a level, a ranking? Uh, we speak about level uh, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so someone that is level at one maybe has less respect than someone that is level at six. How you do? How do you see that? Because I know. That's a tough question because we can see that as a competition in the room. We can see that like, like a competition. We can see that uh, totally we are in collaboration. We want to collaborate. Um, I, I just want to, to hear your uh, doubt as a hidden fractal uh, at the base layer creator of hidden fractal. Shout out to Felix Ruiz. Shout out to everyone into this Eden Fractal, the developers, Vlad, James. But Dance Enjoy, you are my guest. So, <clears throat> what is your uh, opinion on the three facets Collab uh, competition, competition, collaboration? When you are in, uh, let's say, advocating your contribution with your peers into your, into your room, how do you see that? Yeah, it's it's all three. It's a competition, it's a coopetition, and it's a collaboration. And I think that coopetition is the best way to describe this uh, succinctly. So coopetition is one of my favorite words. It's a portmanteau, which means a, a combination of words, and it's a combination of collaboration and competition. Bring them together, you get coopetition. So it's, it's a beautiful dynamic. And basically, like we are competing. We're competing to help the community more than each other but we're also collaborating to one help the community we're both having the same goal and then two to cooperate gracefully in like having a fun experience and providing a welcoming environment and so forth while we're having the competition and so forth there's a great uh tweet I, I don't know exactly what he said. Lex Friedman was talking about how like friendly competition is really healthy. Like it inspires people to do more. It inspires people to uh, push themselves harder and to go out of their way to, to do more. And when everybody is in incentivized and inspired by this friendly competition to do more, focusing the efforts to help the community, to help EOS and to help Eden Fractal and to help and, and to help Eden and to you know just help each other as individuals and so forth grow and enjoy ourselves and so forth when everybody's incentivized and encouraged to help each other more and compete over that but we're all aiming for the same goal like that creates a beautiful competition where we're all competing at the same time but having a fun time while we're competing and doing it as a friendly competition and then also collaborating at the same time for the same goal and uh yeah that's that's basically it, it it's competition where we're all aiming to help each other and help the community as much as possible. At the end, are you not thinking that we are building a collaborative culture on EOS by attending those hidden fractal? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, the competition doesn't exist without the collaboration. And the, the competition aspect can be expressed as a way to further collaboration because it's incentivizing people. It's, it's some, some, something you touched upon too in your previous question I didn't quite respond to is people do receive different amounts of respect for how, how highly their contributions are valued by the community. So it's true if somebody joins the meeting and receives a level number one, 
then they'll receive significantly less respect tokens than somebody who receives a level two or a level three or a level five or a level six. The higher the level, the more respect tokens uh, are, 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 are distributed by the community. And it works with a Fibonacci algorithm whereby each level, re, whereby each successive level receives approximately one and a half or 1.6 times more tokens than the previous level. So if the uh, level one receives five tokens, then level two receives eight tokens, level three receives something like 13 tokens, level four receives something like 21 tokens and so forth. And these tokens all might change too, but that's just kind of like how the Fibonacci ratio works now currently is. Um, so th there is that dynamic where people are receiving dis different amounts of respect for how much they're doing. And that provides an incentive because it means like no matter where you're at in that level ratio, whether you're level one or two or three or four or five or six, it means there's always incentive to do more for the community. So it, if you're coming to the meeting and you're just learning about the community, you don't know much, you haven't had much time to contribute because you're working another job or whatever, maybe you get ranked level one or level two in the first few meetings that you join or or for however long, but it provides an opportunity because it's like, well, if I do a little bit more than what that other person is doing, if I can contribute just another hour this week, then maybe I can receive 1.5 times more respect or two or three times more respect or something like that. So there's always the option and the incentive. That's part of the beauty of of, uh, of Fractally and what we're doing with this, with this Eden Fractal. It's always providing incentive for people to do more for the community. And by doing more for the community, you're helping to collaborate for the community. You're helping the community to collaborate. So the title of this workshop, Building Collaborative Culture on EOS, Eden Fractal is helping them because one, it's incentivizing people to do more to collaborate and to add more in their collaborations to help the community. And then also, like there's that aspect which I mentioned before and that you mentioned too, um, it's collaborating like beyond all the respect that's distributed on chain and so forth. Like it's collaborating just to give people great experiences, come to these meetings, have a fun time. You're kind of just playing a game, really. You're playing a game where people get their contributions ranked one through six and people receive different tokens. But it's like when you play a game, like you want to have, have fun together and you want to give each other a great experience and you want to provide a, a fun and welcoming environment. So in addition to incentivizing people to collaborate more and do more to help the collaborative culture of EOS, um, it's also like directly providing a welcoming environment where people can join every week to collaborate and enjoy each other's time and then help build that culture over the long term, build these relationships and 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 learn from each other and learn the best way forward so that we can collaborate as best as a community, both incentivizing with our tools and then also just on a personal level, like learning to, you know, you are growing. show our respect for people and so forth and growing yeah. together yeah absolutely you are improving yourself you are growing you are uh, maybe pivoting sometimes joining the link the line again reaching your goals and maybe more than you have imagined at the at the base layer because now you are collaborating you are in collaboration mode with a competition mindset in a way not competition competition but always with the aim at the end to build a collaborative culture, do something greater than yourself. And that's the beauty. Uh, during this breakout room, uh, yeah, it's very subjective because you are describing what you have made uh, to help to grow the community or uh, you share something. Maybe yourself, you think, oh, that's a great contribution. I will be leveled uh, certainly uh, five or six. And suddenly you see that, no, you were leveled maybe two or one. And at this moment, maybe you think, oh, but uh, the others are not seeing what I am doing. They are not uh, uh, paying attention to what I did during this last week or uh, these uh, last weeks. And um, that's just experiment because in the room you have five, six people and we are all uh, expressing, uh, manifesting what you have. We do a manifesto of what we have done. Sometimes you share links, sometimes you share your screen, 
sometimes you are just speaking, uh, trying to do the best movie experience for the others to understand what you have done. So it's a very subjective process, very subjective. And but the good, the 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 I would say the the, the beauty about this process at the end, all is on chain. All is on chain. The, the, the voting, the consensus uh, is on chain. We are submitting the consensus on chain with the tool of uh, developed by Vlad, an interface where we put the room number and then the EOS account names of everyone. And we press a button and that goes on chain for the posterity. All is on chain. You cannot say after, ah, I was indeed uh, level at uh, five and you were level at uh, three. So that's all provable on chain. So that's the, the technical part and uh, the beauty of the blockchain. But if we leave that for a while, the technology, the blockchain, and all these as aspects, there is this fun moment into the room. We are people sharing information and data. And at the end, we are taking our brain to vote. So that's very subjective, very subjective. So you can be leveled two or one, and indeed you could be leveled six or so. Uh, you deserve, but you were leveled two. So you have to put your ego a little bit uh, beside and uh, think about that's just information, that's just data. Uh, I am here this week. I will come in two, two weeks again. I will share something absolutely great and I will advocate that great and you will be leveled better. So it's it's all, like you said, it's a game. It's a game and with a fun component. It's not a game with a competition aspect with a race car. Uh, it's, I, I don't see that like, like that myself. I see that very uh, a fun moment of your time into your existence. Maybe tomorrow we have other things that come and uh, we will be happy that uh, we have shared good moment and at least we have a uh, grow. That's long uh, episode on the Wednesday. It's 13 UTC and what is the finish time? It depends. It, it has what it, it has ranged widely in the total length of, of, of episodes. I'm calling them because I, I do kind of think of them as episodes to some extent because we publish videos. Um, but yeah, um, often we start at 18 or tw or 12:30 UTC rather. So we are often starting a half hour early, and then people can leave uh, earlier. Like if somebody has uh, something to do after an hour, then they could just attend and uh, participate in the breakout room. And then that'll be done by 14 UTC. And that's cool. Although we encourage people to stay around for longer and participate in community discussions and share their thoughts and hear what everybody's thinking and so forth. And that's valuable for the community as a whole to have that time to not just play a game and reach consensus and, and value each other's contributions and, and so forth, but also to just have more time to hang out and discuss and discuss the future of Eden Fractal and, and what we're all aiming to do with the community and so forth. So, um, yeah, sometimes it goes like an extra hour. Sometimes it goes an extra two hours. I think the longest we've gone probably so far is like almost four hours in total, maybe like three hours and 15 minutes, three and a half hours. So it goes pretty long sometimes. All the videos are on... Um, I, I, I think I mentioned before, EdenBrackle.com slash videos. Also on the Eden Creators YouTube channel, Felix also posts all the videos on the Felix Reese channel. Um, and yeah, uh, so that's the link basically. And something that I just felt like was maybe helpful to mention here too, because we were talking about like the competitive aspect and the collaborative aspect and so forth. Uh, and, and you mentioned you shared some great points about that. So thank you, Patrick. But uh, a way that I see it and that I feel like is maybe a helpful like analogy to make is like a sports game. Like when you're playing football or, or soccer, depending on where you are in the world and what language you speak or whatever, um, or, or tennis or whatever, like you're coming together and people are coming together to play a game. And like those the, those players are like uh, competing. They're, they're, they're aiming to win. They're aiming to score more goals and so forth so that their team gets the win and so forth. But in a way, like everybody's collaborating because everybody's just there like to 
host this great experience, especially if you go to like a big football stadium and people are like cheering and having a great time and stuff like that. And everybody's having fun playing the game. So it's like, we're all collaborating. And in, in, in so many more ways, like we're collaborating on a much deeper level because we're all sharing how we're collaborating and we're all doing it specifically for like the collaborative culture and so forth. But yeah, I feel like that's a helpful analogy. And then in addition to that analogy, like when you go to a soccer game, it's not like you go to a soccer game and then you play and then the the referee blows the whistle and then it's over. Everybody just walks home. It's like people are excited. People are excited because you just played this fun game. You have things to say about it. Uh, people are excited because they want to talk about the plans for the next game, how they're going to strategize and, and so forth. Or they want to just go out to like the local pub and just like talk about it or whatever. So often after time, after we have the consensus rounds, we are like hyped up, we or fun. We have ideas that popped up or different discussion topics. And so, yeah, a lot of times people, uh, I'm always there for a while afterwards. And a lot of times we'll have a discussion for an hour or two afterwards. You know what? At the difference with a sport game and the fractally or the hidden fractal uh, meeting, what is the difference? The big difference when you are the spectators seeing the game, you have a fun moment. Whatever the, the team will win, you have a fun moment. At the end, there are some disappointment of the game for the people that have not been able to, to win this match, to, to win this play, tennis or basketball or soccer, there are always a winner and a loser. Here into the hidden fractal and the fractally, there is no one winning, no one is losing. All, all the people... I think have, everybody's winning. Yeah, and more than that, everyone will learn something by participating. Everyone will learn something, will grow. After that, you grow. In a, in a soccer match, when you have lost the match, you have the team that has lost the match, you are depressed maybe during two weeks. Here into the hidden fractal, no depress, okay? Or into the fractal uh, events the same. So, but to say that like that, it's because we have experience. We are uh, doing that repeatedly. That's not obvious at the beginning. You say, okay, I go into the, the fractal event meeting and maybe I will be leveled less than someone else. So maybe next week I don't come again because I was uh, not recognized for my effort. But indeed, you have a lot of respect because you can be level one, level two, and indeed, it's 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 very uh, an experiment. It's very an experiment. So I, I I would say we cannot just compare with a race car or a, or a soccer match or with a basketball or tennis because at the end of this of this game there are always a winner, a loser, and also for the spectators they have fun during the match. When the match is finished, you have the half of the spectator that are depressed and the others that are just happy, you, you understand? So here into Yes, the... there's no losers at all who, who participates in Fractally or Eden Fractal. Um, and in fact, everybody wins. So everybody receives respect. And like that respect means a lot. And it's also respect being there, especially now early in the community's growth, like that people joining and people receiving level one, like that's a great deal of respect for me, like both on chain. I believe that the community will grow and respect that greatly for participating early. And then just like on, on a personal level and that ephemeral level, like I greatly respect and greatly appreciate everybody who's joining. So everybody who's joining Eden Fractal meetings and Fractal meetings is winning. But I'd also at the same time, and, and everybody receives a sec, but I also at the same time push back a little bit about the sports because I think that everybody who plays in a sport is winning because sports are fun. And they're an opportunity for us to grow. Like sometimes people get disappointed if they don't win or their team doesn't win. But at the end of the day, like they still played a fun game together. They still played a sport. They still ran around in a field and they got to kick around a ball and stuff like that's fun. Everybody who plays the sport is winning, even if you don't win the match. And so like, and it's also an opportunity to grow. Like when you're younger, like you might get really upset and cry after you lose for two weeks or something like that. But then you can realize like as you get older, it's an opportunity, one, like you, you can learn to play better and, and it can push you to improve and so forth. It can push you to practice more. And then two, like 
it's if you're going into it gracefully and going into it like with the mindset to have a fun experience and to share a fun experience then like if you lose the soccer game or a football game one day like it's not that big of a deal because people are still enjoying it and it's like learning how to grow and cooperate gracefully to share a fun experience while you're playing a game so i totally agree it's more clear that everybody's winning in Eden Fractal and, and Fractally means everybody's getting respect and I greatly respect everybody who's participating greatly appreciate it but at the same time sports are also a similar opportunity where even though teams technically lose everybody's winning because they're playing a fun game together and it's an opportunity to learn how to cooperate better as well that was my my little touch to challenging you here <laughs> and uh, I, I love to hear your uh, answer as always you put uh, some um color into the answer and and yes there is no true there is no false there is no there is no winner there is no loser there is just people collaborating joining competing competing and uh for the better for the betterment of our ecosystem <laughs> Do you see something in Eden Fractal that can help Eden on EOS? And yeah, there's a lot that Eden Fractal can help with with Eden on EOS. Um, I mean, Eden Fractal is like kind of designed uh, largely off of the Fractally method, uh, and that's being pioneered by the Fractally Genesis Group and by the Fractally LLC, who were formerly the Clarion team, and the, the and the Clarion team built Eden. E, uh, well, they built Eden OS and they kind of started Eden on EOS with the principles and more equal animals and so forth. Um, so it's very much along like the same line of thought and so forth. And in many ways, uh, like pretty distinctly, like practically is the next ideas and, and the evolution of, of, of the thoughts about how to enable true democracy, enable people to cooperate and empower communities from the original founder. And, and the original founders and, and, and creators of Eden on EOS. So there's a lot that Eden on EOS can learn from Eden Fractal as we're experimenting and pioneering with these systems of Fractally. I think that in many ways, the Eden Fractal and the Fractally system in general has, it just, uh, it's a more engineered, or I don't know the best way to put it, like it's, it's there's more work put into it, in, into designing a system that can empower people than Eden on EOS. I mean, partially just because time, like they've been building practically for a long time and they took the experience of Eden on EOS and they added all these different features to empower communities and so forth. So I think there's a whole lot that the Eden on EOS community can learn from uh, the Eden Fractal. That being said, like, uh, it's kind of difficult to say it because like they're all similar names. Like I think overall, Eden on EOS and Eden Fractal are both part of the Eden community. And that's what came first, really. And that's what, like, I suppose matters most is it's the people who are involved. And then Eden on EOS is a specific, it's an organization using a specific set of tools on the EOS blockchain to that this community can use to come to consensus and enable true democracy. Whereas Eden Fractal, it's also, uh, it, 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 it's a, it, it's, it's also a community within Eden, and it's also a system of tools which is similar to Eden on EOS, but has a lot of variations as well. And there's kind of like a bit of like sub-communities, I guess, you know, not, not everybody who participates in Eden on EOS participates in Eden Fractal and vice versa. But just for a high-level overview, because I figured that might be helpful. A lot of times people get confused about this. And then, yeah, there's a whole lot of features that um, Eden Fractal is innovating and pioneering that I think are helpful to further empower the Eden community as a whole and the Eden on EOS community that can be integrated into Eden on EOS, that can empower, that can help decentralize, that can help make it more resilient, that can help make it more fun. Like the fact that we do weekly meetings, you get to know people. There's a lot of benefits and unique advantages to the Eden practical process that Eden on EOS can benefit from. Um, that being said, also Eden on EOS is an elegant design too, and it's created so much value in so many different ways. And it's got a bit of a different way of enabling communities to cooperate and, and collaborate which is also highly successful as well so i think it's probably best to keep on developing both and, and seeing how they can help each other and then just you know all of us are in the same community we're all learning from each other we can figure out which features or most helpful mechanisms or, or whatever is just makes most sense we can be pragmatic about it and just uh basically whatever there is from eden fractal that is working well 
can take that and use that to empower the Eden on EOS community and vice versa as well. I can go more into detail about certain features or, or certain different things. I mentioned a few, uh, but that's kind of a high level overview. And I hope that answers your question well. That's end of season three. At the time of this recording, we are the 19th August. That's published on August 23rd. And Pomelo season three was just finished uh, the 18th August at 12 UTC for the donation. But there will be Pomelo four. There, there are other seasons. Uh, that's why I say always, this is not just about one season, one moment. That's for the long time. Eden Fractal is here for the long time. Eden on EOS, it's in early stage. It all is in early stage. We are learning. We are learning. We are all learning. So we are building this collaborative culture. So with your Pomelo grant, what are you doing exactly? So thanks for asking. So my Pomelo grant is for Eden Creators. Uh, and Eden Creators is basically working to, uh, for the Pomelo grant, um, I think the title was Empowering EOS with Fun Events, amazing and helpful content, and the powers of fractal cooperation with the unique and revolutionary process of fractally. So basically, people can check it out more at promo.io slash grant slash Eden Creators. And also, you can check out EdenCreators.com to learn much more about Eden Creators. I've been building Eden Creators for uh, uh, probably about a year and a half now, basically, since right after the launch of Eden and more animals and so forth in May of 2021 or uh, or spring of 2021, rather. And um, yeah, I've been creating, uh, how do I say it? Like, I've, I, I've been creating a lot of content consistently since then to help spread the word about Eden and about Fractally and about EOS and practical cooperation and like the principles of Morical Animals and how I see that these systems like Eden Fractal and so forth can empower communities so much and help people so much both in EOS and then around the world all communities can benefit from these processes um so yeah for a long time i've been working to write about that i've written many many uh like kind of like blog posts basically and and, and many notes and, and many of these are published on different websites so there's an edencreators.com slash garden where i have lots of notes that i've been developing and honing to uh share how communities can explain how communities can benefit from these processes of fractal cooperation and by using EOS and so forth and Web3, and then also additional communities that I'm aiming to help start with Eden Creators. So we helped start uh, Eden Fractal and also Genesis Fractal. We've been playing a really big role in these communities, also the Alien Roads Fractal. I've been at all these meetings basically for, for every time and just supporting them as much as possible and trying to innovate. I'm working like beyond full-time, working to help these communities and spread the knowledge and awareness and excitement for fractal governance, for EOS, for Eden, and, and and all these communities who are using these processes. So, yeah, basically, I'm writing content, I'm uh, making videos. We have the Eden Creators YouTube channel where we're recording videos from all these events, and we have like many hundreds, hundreds of, of hours of videos where people are sharing how they're passionate about Eden Fractal and EOS and and all the and, and how these systems help their life and so forth. So we're making videos. We're also planning on doing like uh, well, I've done a few like shorter uh, videos. Like I've done a music video where I took a fractal video where I was explaining a presentation and showing different things that I have been working on, and then also mix it with a song that I wrote about Eden. And then in addition to the music, in addition to the videos, in addition to the writing, in addition to also helping to start these communities, also hosting the events like Eden Fractal, also help uh, where I co-host the Eden Town Hall every week with, with, with Felix, and then a bunch of great community members share uh, their thoughts. So basically, to summarize it in the uh, Pamela pitch, I know there's a lot here because I'm, I'm working on this constantly, I'm so excited about it, but Eden Fractal, it's hosting fun events, it, it, or rather Eden Creators are hosting fun events, creating helpful content, all sorts of multimedia content to help everybody experience and enjoy the benefits of these processes in these communities. And then three, also helping to grow more communities. So in addition to these communities I mentioned, there's a lot of other communities that I've been building for the past decade or so, longer than a decade for all sorts of creative purposes. Like I have like a music YouTube channel and I also have channels for like people to help learn about tools and for all sorts of different, just cool interests and so forth. And so I'm, I'm using, I'm aiming to 
empower and inspire many communities for things I've been interested in and for things that people have been interested in general. So hosting fun events, creating helpful content and uh, inspiring communities and helping communities grow and so forth. That's kind of a high level summary of it. Uh, and yeah, basically you can check out EdenCreators.com to learn much more and see the videos and check out the content and so forth. Um, I, I'm also working on uh, helping to fund Eden developers too. So I'm working on a campaign to fund Eden developers. Much more details will be shared about it soon. But I believe that the developers who are working for Eden Fractal, Vlad and James, and many other people in the Eden Fractal community and Eden on EOS, they're doing amazing work. And so I'd love to, uh, in addition to all those things that I mentioned with Eden Creators, I'd love to help people, especially developers, but everybody really, who are doing great work for the community and doing great work for the world to get the respect they deserve to help get funding to fund their work and so forth. So that's an upcoming initiative that's coming soon, but another thing that I'm aiming to do with the creators as well. Thank you, Dan, for uh, this uh, description about your uh, grants. Uh, we find all the link into the video description for sure. Also recently, Eden Fractal was approved into the season three as a Pomelo grant, shout out also to Felix Ruiz to have uh, pushed it for that, to have advocated for that into the EOS Fireside chat that we have on the Wednesday at 19 UTC. Exactly, we have this EOS Fireside chat. That's the place to go. Uh, that's organized by EOS Nation. That's led me to come to that you are also into EOS Nation. Into this workshop, I have two representatives of EOS Nation indeed. I have also Dancing Joy that is in EOS Nation, part of the team recently with Daniel Keyes, the CEO. We spoke about Pomelo Tree. We make some uh, shout out to you into the video. I hope you will en enjoy that. And um, it's clear you are part of the EOS Nation team. You are doing the hot sauce at a, at a, at a speed of 500 milliseconds, I, I think. Uh, you are scrolling the window, you are speaking at the same time. That's very well done. Shout out for that. Uh, that's uh, always on point. That's the, the best hot sauce, very spicy. I remember in the past there was also uh, Daniel Keys doing the, the, the your hot sauce that was already very speed. But here with Dancing Joy, I think we have attained uh, uh, another level um of uh of uh high throughput on the eos hot sauce uh very spicy and there is a grant also for uh eos nation uh eos hot sauce um amplify uh the hot sauce without without hot sauce no news on the eos uh, blockchain no news on antelope no news on the eos network foundation no news on the our ecosystems, well, okay, there is not only EOS Nation, for sure, there are other uh, contributors into EOS, for sure, but EOS Nation is uh, very a pillar of, uh, of our community, so shout out for all the work in EOS Nation, shout out to uh, Daniel Keyes, shout out to, shout out to Stefan Bisson, a very long uh, member of the EOS community, Martin Breuer, Asian community manager for EOS Nation in Asia, part of Dot Gems, the NFT arm of EOS Nation. You are going in every place where you see possibility to more collaboration. Okay, that's all about that. That's the keyword. Collaboration. You want. Uh, to build a collaborative culture on EOS, around EOS, around EOS, beyond EOS, and by doing the Eden Fractal, you have the chance also to be into the Eden on EOS um, board. You are giving your touch, your done touch. I love to, to say that, your done touch there, uh, to go more fractally. You are so open mind that you have no definite uh, answer. And that's great. We need people that are always challenging, always uh, innovating, always improving. So you have your place into this ecosystem. 
as many of uh, of us we have all we are a, a, we are a beautiful community we are a beautiful community and um yeah that's a pleasure to be with you into this uh, workshop number 15 a pleasure to have co-host also with you uh that's that give a a good uh, pendulum with me into this video of Tadas, of Duane. Uh, that was very great. I encourage everyone to see that. I think this workshop number 15 is the most challenging one. Uh, it's about 50 hours of uh, content uh, preparation, uh, timestamping, also the mind maps, the posts, all. And uh, that's a lot of work. And I think we... We have made the tour with uh, Eden Fractal. We have more to say, for sure. And for this reason, that will be not the, the, the last time. I'm, I'm pretty sure that we will have other updates. So thank you very much, uh, Dan, for all. Absolutely. I'm honored. Thank you for the kind words, Patrick. It's much appreciated. And I also like to say thank you to you, like a deep and sincere thank you, big thank you. So one, just, I mean, thank you for all your amazing work. Thank you for hosting this interview and thank you for inviting me and thank you for inviting me to co-host the interviews with Doss and Dwayne. Very much appreciated. And I'm also really looking forward to seeing the other interviews in the Swiss Workshop series. And thanks for like the past 24 uh, or however many up to with all these. I've greatly enjoyed watching many of these for years now. So really appreciate all your work on the Nova Crypto YouTube channel. Also with the mind maps, um, I've been watching the mind maps grow and like the the Eden Bractal mind map is awesome. I know you also have a bunch of other ones for like so many other cool things, supporting different projects and ecosystem and different communities. And I see a lot of cool new features you're building there and I, I've been digging into it more deeply. So I'm really excited about what you're doing the mind maps. Also, you have the Pomelo grant uh, proposal there. So I just want to shout out that because you're doing a lot of kindness there in mind, but absolutely for season four. I encourage everybody to check out the mind map and the Nova Crypto YouTube channel. Uh, and then I also really appreciate your participation and your leadership at the Eden Practical meetings, Patrick. You're there. You're not able to make it every week, and, and that's totally cool. I know you're busy, but I really appreciate when you're able to make it and how you're helping the community and sharing your contributions and helping to guide the community. Really appreciate it. Also really appreciate your generous donations too, to help support Eden Fractal and help support Eden Fractal developers. You've donated more than anybody. Um, and that that's much appreciated. You share four transactions and I believe there's 2,200 years, something like that for the Eden Fractal community. So thank you so much, Patrick. It means so much and so helpful, so helpful for the community and for everybody. Um, yeah. So I, I, that's a lot of thank yous, but I'm very happy about this. I'm also very happy about building collaborative culture on EOS. I agree that's an excellent name for this workshop. And so I feel like this was a really fun interview. I've enjoyed it. And we shared a lot of things that help people collaborate with Eden Fractal and all the things we talked about. So that's awesome. And yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, thank you everybody for listening and looking forward to collaborate with you all and build collaborative culture on EOS. And yeah, thank you very much. And thank you, Patrick. Much appreciated. Thank you, Dan. And I finish with something always fun on this in on, on those interviews. Uh, I I will do that again today. I am no crystal ball, Dan, but I'm pretty sure I will have you again because we will have a lot of more to share about uh, Eden Fractal. Before to say goodbye to our audience, and we will finish with something fun. At 3 to 1 0, we will say in chorus, go in the fractal. Ready, Dan? Yes. I'm ready, Patrick. Perfect. 3, 2, 1, 0. Go, go in the fractal. fractal. Ah. Oh. <laughs> nice chorus. Well done. Thank you. Then, you <laughs> next step. Next attempt, we will say at 3210, we will say go fractally. Sounds great. Right. Right. Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, zero. Go, go fractally. fractally. Oh, well done. Nice harmony. <laughs> nice harmony. So the last one. He, was, he has the fractal paradigm in it since the beginning. And I think a lot of people will understand that. 
looking backward and connecting the dots. So here, a big calls, okay? Ready for Goyos at 3210, okay? Yes. Ready? I am. Yeah, baby? Okay. Yeah, baby. So, Let's do it. Three, two, one, one zero. zero. Go! Go! Yes. Go! Yes. <laughs> nice! Okay, Beautiful. guys, I hope you enjoy this video. You will share that into the galaxy of our ecosystems everywhere. Share that because EOS is in revitalizing mode. Uh, we are Antelope. We cannot speak too much about Antelope for now, but just retain. It's the rebranding of EOSIO. It's the name for Mandel. It's uh, the protocol on T-Loop and LIP is the software C++ implementation of this protocol and T-Loop totally oriented Web3 because on the enterprise level, we don't even speak about blockchain. We speak about Web3 strategy and blockchain is just the support. So we are well placed for the enterprise level we are well placed for all the communities. We have Eden Fractal. Thank you, Dan. We have Alien Board Fractal. We have um, Pomelo, thanks to EOS Nation, EOS Asia. We have Zizen Global speaking everywhere now in September, November, December with Event in Europe about the power of uh, the EOS IO Antelope, an Antelope technology. And we have uh, ZEOS with Matthias Schoenbeck. Oh, okay. But, and shout out to you, Dan, because you have also interviewed uh, Matthias Schoenbeck with uh, Felix Ruiz uh, just before this um, workshop. That's a coincidence, I would say. And I hope the people will, will find a good complement with the interview. Uh, I think that there are a good complement. There is a good complement. Where, wherever you are, art, soul, and mind, do the things every day. Don't give up. Do the things just now. The future is now. Don't think too much about two years from now, three years from now. Do the things now. Love what you do. Know why you do the things. And, uh, that will be better for you because you have a reason to do the things. And us, Dance Enjoy, myself, other into this community, we have a reason to do the things because we think it's good. So all it's about the good, okay? Thank you. Absolutely. I agree. And yeah, thank you very much, Patrick. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Dan. See you. See you next time, Patrick. I have no crystal ball, but I'm looking forward to it.